So the current treatment regimen, the standard of care is, it kind of goes through a pattern. Usually after diagnosis, a patient will start with what's called uh, acetylcholinesterase inhibitor, like peridostigmine, and they'll progress to a low dose steroid and then a higher dose steroid. And this is to make sure the peridostigmine is to make sure that the acetylcholin that is there is going to work, is not being degraded. Um, steroids are going to tampen the immune system. So there's going to be less effect of the autoantibodies attacking. Now, the problem with steroids is that you can't be on them for, you don't want to be on them for too long. And you definitely want to try to not go up on dose because, you know, they have lots of side effects. So these are the first two things that patients will usually start with. Now, as the disease progress, the patient is having exacerbations. They'll start on immunosuppressive therapies, like more serious uh, drugs to tampen down the immune system, like azathioprine. This comes with another host of problems because it takes a while for these drugs to set in and really understand even if they're going to work for this patient. And they take a very, very long time to work sometimes. Uh, or I'm sorry, we have to, sometimes they don't work and they take a very long time. Tertiary to that is rescue therapy, which is IV, IG, or PLEX therapy, where you're really trying to reduce the number of autoantibodies in the blood. And this is not a fun process either. It takes over the course of a couple of days, for example. Plasmapheresis is a little bit better. Um, but the point of this stepwise process, standard of care, the takeaway is that it's not targeted. It's symptom management. And you know, the, it leaves the patients with a lot of treatment burden. And like I said, symptom management, not targeted therapy.